everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, April. I hope you're all having a beautiful day or night, whatever it may be. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different here on my channel, but I'm pretty sure you guys already have a pretty good idea of what it might be just from what I'm wearing. If you guessed Disney, you are right. Today, we are going to be talking about Disney, specifically Disney World. In this video, I am going to show you guys how I like to pack for a Walt Disney World vacation. I'm also going to be showing you guys some of my favorite packing tips and some of my favorite essential items that are just a must for my trip. I wanted to make this video because I know with summer here and everything getting back to some sort of normal and Disney World reopening a bunch more stuff, I just know everyone is going to be going there. I also know that packing can be really stressful, especially if you're traveling with a big party or if you have a big family, and also if you're flying because I know sometimes the TSA rules, in my opinion, are just crazy and there's so many different ones that you have to follow. But don't worry, I got you guys. I actually love packing. I love... I'm like an extremely organized person with that and I also love making lists so packing is very fun to me. So I think this video is going to be really fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Also I have been to Disney World so many times I pretty much have everything down to a T. Alright so without further ado keep on watching for some tips and tricks and to see how I like to pack for a Walt Disney World vacation. Yay! Let's go! Yay, let's pack a suitcase together. Hey, Grogu. <laughs> okay, so this is the suitcase that I bring with me on all my trips. It's not too big and it's not too small, which I really like. I'll make sure I list the measurements down below. This suitcase only has one large pocket on the inside, but that's okay because we are going to use packing cubes. I love using packing cubes. I think packing cubes have been such a game changer for me while traveling. Not only are they great at keeping everything so much more neat and well organized, but I personally find that they save me so much extra space in my suitcase as well. Packing cubes come in all different sizes, so I usually will use my smallest one for my smaller items like my underwear, socks, bras, bathing suits, etc. I don't really have a folding method with this, I usually just fold them as neatly as I can and place them on top of each other. For my medium sized bag, that's where I'll usually put any of my t-shirts or tank tops that I have. Personally for me, I don't like to walk around Disney in the summer with the t-shirt on. I think it's way too hot to have any sort of sleeve on you when you're there. So usually, I usually just pack muscle tanks and tank tops and stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, I did want to show you guys some of my cute little Disney shirts including that first one that I love so much. I am usually used to going to Disney in December and I will say it's a lot more chillier during that time of year so I do recommend that definitely if you are going around that time to bring pants, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts with you because I do find that it gets a lot colder there especially during the night and also in the mornings. But for summer I think your best bet personally is to pack as light as possible, lots of tank tops, Lighter materials are really great too because if you can't always get to a washing machine, they're usually pretty easy to wash out in your sink and you can usually just hang them in your shower to dry. For my biggest packing cube, that is where I will put any of my bottoms or any other larger articles of clothing I may have. Florida gets really hot in the summer so I personally wouldn't recommend long pants. I usually like to wear jean shorts and I've also been really into bike shorts lately. I think it's a lot easier to get away with wearing a shirt multiple times, but I think it's a little harder to do that with pants, especially if you're walking around all day in the heat and you're sweating a lot. So I would say definitely keep that in mind when you're packing. And don't forget, lighter materials are always more breathable and easy to wash out, and they're always more sweatproof. Okay, so now let's put everything all together and into the suitcase. I added my sweatshirt in here as an example. Anything heavier, sweatshirts, beach towels, things like that, I prefer to just lay flat at the bottom of the suitcase. Then I just take all of my packing cubes and place them one on top of each other just like that. And now you have a well-organized, ready to go to Disney suitcase. Okay, so shoes are, that's your own personal preference. 
I usually bring multiple pairs of shoes when I go. I'll bring a couple of pair of sneakers and then I'll bring, depending on what time I'm going, I will bring a pair of sandals as well. Usually the sandals are for the pool. I found that when I, in the heat more so in the summer, I feel like I used to wear sandals more so than sneakers. That's my own personal preference. But when I do go in the winter, I do prefer to wear sneakers. I find that they are the most comfortable for me. I also want to throw out there these Javianas. I personally hate Javianas. I don't think they're comfortable at all. They don't fit my feet right. I'm just showing these in regards to the fact that they are Disney. These I do love. I love Vans. I'm a big fan of Vans. Once I break in my Vans, they are a great walking shoe and I love them a lot. These, I would never actually wear these to a Disney park. That would be an awful, terrible mistake. And I just know it would be so uncomfortable. But if you find Javianas comfortable, then I would say definitely go for it. I really do have to say how much of a space saver these packing cubes really are though because look how much space I have left in my suitcase for so many more things that I can fit in here I just really think that these are perfect for literally any trip that you're going on and they really do help you keep organized and look how much space Come on, that's like, that's amazing. I did only use three packing cubes and I think really it's up to you how many you wanna use because you know, you might have more clothes, you might have less clothes, you know, but either way you are saving space and it is keeping things more flatter and more organized and it's just perfect. So this is the very last thing. Um, my mom actually does this. She just lays a plastic bag over all of her stuff to use as a laundry bag when we get there. Yay, and that's it, we did it. All right, let's pack our carry-on next. As you can see, my carry-on bag is a duffel. I feel like I've tried so many different bags over the years, but I always end up going back to a duffel. This bag is really convenient because it has like a sleeve here. I'm not sure what this is called. I know there's a name for it, but it slides right here right onto the suitcase on this thing the handle there you go the handle and then it just rests right there so you can conveniently carry it through the airport yay this bag has many many different pockets in it and it's also tsa approved so i will link that down below for you my carry-on is always for my more personal more valuable items as well as my carry-on i do also bring my luggage on the plane with me as well I don't like when things are out of my sight. I don't like when other people I don't know are touching my things. But being that this bag does go under the seat and I have my eyes on it at all times, I do tend to put things that I would more likely reach for or more personal items in this bag. This is where I keep my makeup, anything fragile, my camera, my mouse ears, things like that, my wallet, anything I may need to easily reach for in the airport or on the plane goes in this bag. Also, if you guys would like a full video of all the makeup products that I do bring with me on my trip, leave a comment down below and I'd love to make one for you guys. Before I finish up and continue on, I wanted to show you guys my pins. I also do bring these with me. To be honest though, they usually just end up like, do I, wait, do I have Cheeto on my face? Oh no, I had Cheeto on my face. I was eating the Cheeto popcorn. It's so good. Anyways, um, these are the pins. I actually, I have a whole ton more, but these are the ones that I actually um, bring with me when I go. But like I was saying, they usually end up staying in the room because I like forget, like I have, I think the problem is I have anxiety because I used to lose lose like pins all the time like randomly lose pins all the time like I guess the back would come loose and like the whole pin would just go missing and I have this one pin that I love so much and it was like Ariel because she was my favorite Disney princess when I was little and it was her and she was behind these little doors and you would like open the door and it was her face and it was like the coolest pin ever and I had it for so long and then one year I just I think I lost it in the haunted mansion because I went back and tracked back all of my steps and that see I think that's where I lost it and I get like I get sad about it like all the time so I just have anxiety now for my pins so with that said I do bring them but I don't necessarily bring them out with me all the time usually they just end up sitting in the hotel room because I think I'm just afraid I'm gonna lose them and sometimes I just feel like it gets too hot and I don't want to wear them this is how I store my pins. I basically just keep them in the same Ziploc bag that I've had for years. And along in that Ziploc bag, I do have some extra pin backs as well. 
So this is the finished product right here. I really utilized these pockets on the side here. I really like these because I feel like they do a really great job at keeping your more fragile items secure like your camera. I put my makeup in here and things like that. And I just think it's so great because once you fill these up, you have all this room right in the middle here for so many other things. This is a really, really great bag. I would definitely say if you can, I think that your best bet is even if you can't like get this specific bag, but definitely find bags with like a lot of pockets in it like this because I think that really is a great way to utilize more space in your bag. All right, guys, so we are done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that long strap right on there as well, which I love because it has some nice padding on it so it doesn't hurt your shoulders when you're walking through the airport. All right, you guys, so now that we're done packing, I am going to show you guys what I like to keep in my park bag. And what I mean by park bag is the bag that I bring with me to the parks. So over the years going to Disney, I've, through trial and error, I've kind of narrowed it down to what kind of, what types of bags I like and feel comfortable carrying to the parks. But to be honest, I think the most comfortable bag for me personally is usually a backpack. I feel like with backpacks you can fit a decent amount of stuff in and you don't really have to worry about them too much because they go on your back so they're not really in your way which is great. I have a lot of different backpacks but this is the one I'm going to show you guys today. Anyway this is the bag that I'm going to use today to show you guys. This is a Disney Loungefly backpack. If you guys didn't know, I'm sure you guys probably do, but these bags are super popular in the parks. I feel like everywhere I turn, somebody has one of these bags or somebody is using one. And you can get these in basically, I feel like any pattern and like any character that you want. It's really amazing. I actually haven't used this at Disney since I've gotten this bag yet. So I think this is probably going to be one of the bags that I bring with me, if not the only bag that I bring with me this year when I go. I think it's all about just finding the right size bag for you to carry with you because I've noticed that the bigger the bag, the more stuff you end up toting around with you and then after a while it kind of just becomes a burden and it kind of becomes annoying. When I go to the parks, I usually only carry around what I need, but the thing is if I do go shopping and I do get something and I do want to stick it in my backpack, that's when a bigger backpack does come in handy. But with that said, I think this is definitely a much better, more convenient little I don't know this is like medium yeah like a medium sized bag to keep with you all right so now I'm gonna show you guys my in park in bag essentials all right so first things first I do like to carry around some sort of cosmetic bag inside of my backpack with any sort of beauty products or essentials that I may need throughout the day this cosmetic bag is actually for my friend Vanessa. She got it for me when she went to Tokyo, Japan, and I'm really grateful. It's one of my favorites. Ariel has always been one of my favorite princesses, so I, I just think the artwork is beautiful. So I, I just love to carry it with me when I'm there. In the cosmetic bag, I will usually keep with me. Now keep in mind, I also just want to say some of the stuff I don't actually have on hand because I'm out of it and I have to buy it. So if I don't show it, I'll just say it. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. Here we go. I usually will carry with me some sort of powder foundation or some sort of makeup just to touch up with throughout the day. I try not to wear too much makeup when I'm at the parks because I find that it just kind of ends up melting off my face a little bit. I don't know. I hate when I'm out for long periods of time like that and I just have to constantly retouch it up. So I try not to, I try to go very bare minimum with the makeup if I can. Next up, I'll usually carry a brush with me. This is just a little mini wet brush. I love this brush. I've had it so many years. And around the brush, I will also have some rubber bands or some hair ties, just in case, you know, I have long hair. So just in case I want to like put it up or something, I always put these around here so I don't forget that I have them. Next up, I have deodorant. Um, I switched to all natural deodorant and I find that I have to just keep reapplying it over and over again. So I think having a mini deodorant, even if you don't wear all natural deodorant and you just feel like you want to carry deodorant, I feel like this is definitely a necessity for the parks. I know they make smaller ones, but this is just the one that I have right now. But definitely this is going to be an absolute must. I'm not going to leave the hotel without it. Next up, I can't stress this enough hand sanitizers, disinfecting sprays, wipes. Um, please, I, I can't urge you enough. Like I always bring hand sanitizer. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy dermaphobe because of COVID and now even more so. So I always will have hand sanitizer, wipes, 
and also Lysol disinfecting spray just in case you never know it's good to have these in case you can't wash your hands before you eat or even after a ride because there's a lot of germs germs linger okay next are these clean and clear oil absorbing little blotting sheets my skin has been very oily and I just know that these are gonna be a must if you have oily skin and you just have if you just get oily the heat just just get these okay keep these in your bag these are a lifesaver okay all right so that's basically going to be it for my cosmetic bag I am going to mention three more things that I don't have on hand but I do also carry in there that I think are definitely a lifesaver and a must first off I'm gonna mention a floss pick or any sort of dental floss I hate when things get stuck in my teeth and I don't have something to get it out with that's the worst especially if you're taking pictures so that's definitely a must definitely some sort of chapstick I can't go anywhere without chapstick I, chapstick is a must in my everyday life so it has to be in that bag too and last but not least I also want to mention I don't just keep hand wipes in my bag I will also keep some sort of bathroom wipe in my bag some sort of baby wipe I do find that sometimes when you're going to the bathroom on public toilets sometimes you just want to feel a little extra clean so I think it's really great to carry wipes with you those have been a lifesaver to me over the years don't sleep on those I promise they're good to keep around all right next so this kind of goes hand in hand with my beauty products, but I don't really keep them inside my cosmetic bag. I just kind of, I feel like I would just throw them in my bag. Sunscreen. Yes, sunscreen is very important. Please don't forget your sunscreen. Even when it's cold out, even when it's raining out, wear your sunscreen. Especially in the Florida heat and the sun, you do not, not want to wear sunscreen. I've gotten sunburn. It's not fun. Just wear your sunscreen. This one is my Super Goop Glow Stick. This one is specifically for my face, and I do insist on carrying this because I feel like you might want to reapply this throughout the day. And these are just two sunblocks that I have randomly laying around um, to put on your body. So put them on your body. Put them on your shoulders, put them on your chest, put them on your legs, just put them on. You'll thank me later, I promise. All right, next. This is getting very exciting. <laughs> sunglasses and yes I do keep my sunglasses in a case sometimes don't forget your sunglasses I feel like this is self-explanatory though I feel like you should always wear sunglasses when it's sunny out these really need to be cleaned Wow these are just Mickey Mouse Ray-Bans I have no idea if they're real I got them off of Poshmark I think they're the kids ones I don't know but they're cute so these are the ones I used but wear your sunglasses whatever just wear them and on to the next a poncho ponchos are a must one thing about Florida it just rains sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to it it just does and it is what it is I will say ponchos they're they they you know they're they're good okay also, it doesn't have to be a Walt Disney World poncho, okay? Because to be honest, these ponchos are overpriced. I would say if you want to get a poncho, try like the Dollar Tree or maybe Walgreens or Rite Aid or something like that. I know they have these and they're probably like three bucks. So try and go there and get yourself one of those before you buy one of these. I'm telling you though, it's going to rain. It'll probably rain when you're there though, so just be ready. Oh! Before I move on, we're getting down to the last things, but before I move on, I forgot to mention one of the most important things to keep in your cosmetic bag. Band-Aids. Don't forget Band-Aids. You're gonna need Band-Aids. I forgot all about Band-Aids. There was one year I went and I had really bad blisters, but I will say if you go over to the first aid wherever you are, they'll give you whatever you need. I the, And the Band-Aids are like the elite Band-Aids that they give you. But you should still carry Band-Aids with you, nonetheless. Trust me. All right, next up we have a little mini fan. These are great. It gets real hot. You could just kind of, you know what I mean? Just fan yourself. Fan yourself when you're online, whatever. It's gonna keep you cool, okay? This is a great thing to have. This is a great little convenient thing to have. They do sell the massive ones with the water and the fan. I do have one of those, but I will say this is more convenient. So if you can get your hands on one of these little guys. I think they also make the fans that you just attach to your phone and then they like run from your phone so you could do that too I feel like that's a cool idea too but definitely try I think the portable fans are really good they're a really good thing to have on you especially when it's really hot all right onward 
So this next item is actually one of my favorite items. This right here is a portable phone charger. This is truly everything. This is the best money I've ever spent. So basically you just charge this up and then when your phone starts getting low, you plug your phone into this and it charges your phone. This has gotten me so many charges at Disney on my phone and the battery on this specific one, it's really, it's very powerful. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I find that at the parks, my phone battery just drains more so than usual. I don't know if it's because of the Wi-Fi, whatever, or if I'm taking pictures, but I just feel like once I get there, my battery has significantly drained. I know they sell portable, they sell like a portable one of these in the park, but they're shaped like bullets. Um, I don't know about those. I've never really used those. I know somebody who did use those, but I think that 30, I think it's $30 a day. I don't know. If somebody knows, please let me know. I think that's too expensive when you can just go ahead and buy your own. But I guess maybe that is more convenient because then once it dies, you can just drop it off in the machine and get a new one and you can just continuously have a charge. I just find these more convenient. Once it dies, I just plug it in overnight at the hotel and it's on a full charge the very next day. So with that said, I don't really leave to go to Disney without this. It's amazing. And the last two things that I keep in my bag are my wallet and my phone. I always use a pretty small wallet when I go to Disney. Um, I just don't like to carry around too many heavy things if I don't have to. And now we are ready to go to Disney. Gosh, I wish I was going right now. <laughs> I also just want to mention this too really quick. I don't carry this bag with me in the airport. I usually just, whatever's in it, I put in my overnight bag and then I usually will take this and put it in my suitcase or in my overnight bag and I'll just take it out when I'm ready to go to the parks. All right guys, so this concludes my pack with me for a Walt Disney World vacation video. I really hope you guys found this video helpful and hopefully you guys picked up some little tips and tricks for when you pack for your Walt Disney World vacation. Also, I would love to know what you guys keep in your bag when you go to the park, so leave a comment down below and let me know what's in your bag. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please just leave a comment down below and let me know. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at it's April D. And comment down below where you want me to go or you want me to do next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again in my next video.